Welcome to another episode of the Mid-10 Listens Podcast. It's Joshua Smotherman, MiddleTennesseeMusic.com, and I want to ask everyone to please forgive the uh, girly accessories and the purple butterfly curtains. I'm in the process of converting my daughter's bedroom into my new studio space, and uh, that change has not been completed yet. But... We're here with Dylan Emmett, based in upstate New York, sometimes in Los Angeles. I'll let him tell you about that. Dylan, what's up, man? Thank you for doing this. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? Crap, I just told him that. Well, anyway, you can tell him. And then, what style of music do you create? Let's jump into this. Yo, what's up, Middle Tennessee Music? My name is Dylan Emmett. I'm a singer, songwriter, and producer based out of upstate New York and sometimes Los Angeles. My style of music, or what I try to create, is just conscious pop. Pop with some meaning behind it, or real truth behind it. Can you tell us what led you down this path of music, and what motivates you to keep on going? Honestly, like from the get-go, from being like four years old, I already knew I wanted to be a musician. I'm just like obsessed with music. I live it, breathe it. The craft, uh, the feeling you get when listening to music. Like From a really young age, I knew that uh, the way that even like Hanson songs had me singing in my room and just feeling like the emotions it brought out of me that this is what I wanted to try and do for other people. Um, and in terms of staying the course, it's honestly like the same answer. Obviously, uh, the music business is a very difficult path to take and going into it, you have to know that. But what it comes down to for me is just like, I cannot stop. And Every morning I wake up and I just like, I'm already on the mission of like how I can get better, what I'm trying to do to move forward. And the motivation for me too comes not from like money or success or even that stuff, but it does at the same time because what my goal is, is to be able to create on the level that I want to create. Whether that means being able to get a choir for the day if I need it, or to have a stage show that is what I see in my head if I think of like the craziest way I could perform my music. You know, it's like that's what motivates me to try and climb the levels is honestly just to get to a place where I can make my my art on the level at which I want to make it. And so when I look at it, just looking at it like that, it's kind of an endless thing because you can always get better, you can always expand, and uh, really just music is so fun for me. I just, I know that it being my career is what's gonna make me happy. So that's what keeps me on the course. How is your new release different from things you've released in the past? Um, were you trying to accomplish anything specific with this? Yeah, well definitely these last few songs that I've put out have been very different for me. Um, the biggest difference being just the amount of vulnerability in them. Um, my story the past couple years has just been really crazy. I found out I had a two year old daughter I never knew about while living in Los Angeles. And have had just this crazy journey trying to and successfully now becoming a father to her and reorganizing my whole life. I was out in L.A. at the time. I moved all the way back to New York State and then making my career work across the country. The whole thing has just been a crazy process. And I knew that I wanted to tell my story with this and that for me... You know, I've always tried to be vulnerable in my music, but this is kind of like the next level of really putting out like the craziest thing in my life that's happening to me or has ever happened to me and trying to put it into a song. And, you know, these three songs, I have to say too, like it's not necessarily coming from, uh, it's coming from a lot of pain, honestly. And to put that out there in the world has been just really scary, but that was definitely my mission with these songs and just with all my work moving forward, really, I'm really trying to just connect with what I have to say because I've just realized over time that the artists that I love are the ones that do that, you know? You can't hide, so I'm, I'm not hiding anymore. What are some of the challenges you face as an independent musician in this oversaturated, crazy digital world? And I know technology helps. It's helping us right now so how does it help you? well definitely you know the wave of the music industry now is being your own team really or having a small team and running all of your own social media all of your press anything like that so it's definitely been a struggle for me 
and I feel like I'm just starting to get into my mode now where I'm just like, my content is tight and that I've figured out the ways in which I can create content that's personal to me and consistently um, that's actually quality. You know, it took me a really long time to figure that out. And I still, once again, I think I'm just starting to get the hang of it. So that's definitely been the biggest struggle is just learning to be an entrepreneur because as someone who's so just into the craft, you know, for me, I always thought that I, that I should put all of my time into that, but it really, really is a balance because it doesn't matter how good the music you're making is if nobody hears it, you know? So, um, and in terms of the digital age and like how it's helped me, see the benefits way outweigh the um the struggles because everything i'm doing right now is is pretty much over the internet you know like i was living in los angeles i've been working with this artist named um light my friend angela she's amazing um and all of the singles that we've done all the music we've done I, we i'd go out there i'd start it in la we'd get in the studio for the day and just like write the song make a demo and then from there it would all be over the internet and my partner, McKeldy, and I, we work on pretty much everything together. We make a really good production team. Um, same thing. We have Ableton f sessions in Dropbox, sharing the samples. Um, we're constantly figuring out ways to expedite the process so we're not stemming things out and just, like, you know, constantly doing mad work in that vein. Um, but just the ability to, to, to be in a room with the, the people that I work with out in California has been amazing. And just doing the system of going out there for a little while doing a bunch of, getting a bunch of stuff started and then coming back here and finishing, it's been a godsend. I don't know how else I would be doing this from upstate New York. So it's the biggest blessing and it's just, you know, got to put in that work to get your, get your content where you want it to be. Where's the best place for us to connect with you online so we can find more music and keep up with the latest news? Pretty much everywhere. I have all my like singles and stuff like that on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud. I finally started a SoundCloud and have been uploading all my covers and original music up there to YouTube. Um, I have my web series Live in the Lab where we make a song in a day on Facebook Live. Uh, just tons of stuff. I'm really just trying this year. My goal is to just up my content for you guys and just bring bring as much of the truth of what I'm doing out. So anywhere you know hit me up on instagram i'm chilling i'd love to hear from you guys you have anything else you want to add say shout out before we sign off and again thank you for your time man i really appreciate it looking forward to all the future releases you're about to put together and drop i just want to say i love this blog and to all the people supporting middle tennessee like this blog I've been watching Middle Tennessee music for years and been a fan and finding a bunch of dope indie artists through them, but these guys really care about the music, so I'm glad to see you guys showing them some love. Spread the word. Otherwise, pleasure doing this interview. Much love. Thank you for tuning in to the Mid-10 Listens 5 at 5. If you want to show your support for MiddleTennesseeMusic.com and this podcast, check out our book, Getting Your Music Heard Online, available from our website as well as Amazon in formats Kindle and paperback. You can also show your support by subscribing and rating this podcast on iTunes. Doing so will improve your well-being, increase joy, and bring good karma to you. It might also improve your online marketing skills, your online presence, and help you get your music heard by more people.